Hey, I'm Mr. Terry, a high school history teacher. Welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video. All right, today we're going to be checking out a compilation of history jokes by a show that really needs no introduction, and that is Family Guy. All right, so we're going to check this out. I'll let you know what I think, and let's go ahead and get started. All right. Do I even need to give like a inappropriate warning for content? I'm just assuming since it's family guy, it's going to be like that. But I'm sure if you hear, you already knew that. All right, let's get started. All right, where's the game going? All right, Chris, I reviewed your textbook and I've programmed a tour of the various historical events that you'll need to know for your exam. So pay close attention. First stop, Washington, D.C. The year is 1803. Ah, the okay. future. Okay. Okay, hold on. So we're gonna get eighteen oh three. We're gonna get some. Okay, Jefferson. We're gonna get some. Uh, some some Western expansion stuff here. They could go anywhere with this. They're gonna go Thomas Jefferson, the slaveholder or whatever. By the way, this is very. Um, this is very, Bill and Ted. Go back in time to learn about history, so someone has to pass a test. Uh, with Chris there. All right. Anyway. Now the man at the podium is Thomas Jefferson, and this is a very important moment. He's trying to convince Congress to approve the Louisiana Purchase. Come on, guys. We're getting Oklahoma, Arkansas, Nebraska, Kansas, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Louisiana. They're going to be like, what are the chances Great. all those states suck? <laughs> okay. They just went right to it. Just, just insult the whole Midwest there. Oh, that was a pretty good way to start out, actually. Now, if you want some history context, I got some for you. Now, originally, Jefferson had sent a delegation over to France, because that stuff was all owned by France, uh, to buy just the port of New Orleans. But Napoleon, who was in power there, was trying to uh, basically get quick money and focus more on things like the Haitian Revolution and the um and their wars in europe so the french basically offered all of their holdings there in north america although it was a lot more money it was still perceived as a good deal so they agreed to it um they agreed to it before it actually even got back necessarily to congress and got never before it got back to um to to jefferson even but which brought in this whole big long thing about uh, and a lot of people are against it that those kind of agreements shouldn't be made without congressional approval because any land acquisition is supposed to be done by congressional approval. So they agreed to it before it got ratified actually back in Congress. And Jefferson pushed it hard, obviously, because it was this like amazing deal that doubled the size of the United States. But yeah, that's what uh, they were doing there. and had to convince them. But all right. Sorry, Midwest. All right. I'm probably talking too much. Hopefully you wanted some history background. Okay, we got... Is this, this going to be World Paris, War II era Paris? Oh, 20. Oh, okay. Famous American World War writers like Ernest Hemingway would go for a drink. Oh, my God. There Lost is. generation of writers, they call Excuse them. Excuse me, Mr. Hemingway. Can I have a beer with you? Sure. I love life and all the people in it. Thanks. And, hey, as a fellow writer, I would love to talk to you about Dr. Brian craft. thinks he's a writer. God, if only we could get rid of these damn arms and attach the pen directly to the heart, right? You guys, I got his pen. Family Guy goes that far? Whoa. I mean, unfortunately, Hemingway did commit suicide um, out in uh, uh, where he ended up retiring. I think he retired in, like, uh, um, to, to Idaho, like around Sun Valley or something, one of those areas. Uh, <laughs> the 1920s, um, they called that the Lost Generation Writers. These people post-World War I that had a lot of bleak writing because World War I – had it, it again created this lost generation of, of young men that fought in the war or died in the war and a lot of pessimistic views came after that and hemingway was one of those holy cow though okay this, this is brazil before the invention of the soccer ball <gasps> <laughs> as if they all just stopped and Australia just went to play soccer shark tooth necklace. <laughs> just these major parts of their culture Hey. Oh, sound. So it's the opposite. They were always a ridiculous people. Hey, wait, wait, wait. So they're. Hey, family guy. You're lucky I got a man of gust in the oven, or I'd bash your face into a bowl of eggs. That's two kinds of food. 
That's how angry I am. <laughs> Just go to Italian Americans. Now, were they saying there? Okay, so you got like, uh, um, you got like the Brazilians, whoever. It's such a huge so soccer culture, and like it ruined their culture. But with the Italians there, are they saying that the pasta helped them? Because before pasta, they were like just banging rocks around. All right, whatever. Okay, we got some D-Day. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Where are we? Omaha Beach. France. 1944. This is D-Day. June. What's that over there? Oh, that's double D-Day. Whoa. Whoa. That didn't happen, did it? Nine, nine, no fire. It's good. I'll <laughs> hoot us. Be oh. careful. It could be a booby trap. <laughs> All right, so... too, e too easy, too easy. All right, let's talk about these. Hey, I'm one who says that if it gets people talking about history and get some more into it, then I guess all the better. But, of course, you're going to get the irreverent humor from Family Guy. I mean, that's what people go to anyways. Uh, hopefully, I was able to add a few things as to, you know, what was historically going on with some of these uh, these jokes and stuff like that. But anyway, all right. Well, that, that did have some funny stuff in it, though. All right. Thanks again for hanging out here. If you liked what you saw here, give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to sub. Um, you can see me, History Teacher. I comment on a lot of videos. Um, about history and try to make a lot of fun out of it all right with that if you want to see this compilation i did put the link down below you also see down there to some links to some other things if you're a gamer come out my come out and uh, check my gaming channel over on youtube mr terry gaming come over on twitch mr terry history um, and there's some other stuff that you can check out too twitter facebook uh, instagram just fun stuff to uh get your fill on history related things all right with that thanks again for being here and we'll see you next time bye